How close were you to going pro? Um, I felt like I was pretty close. I really, it really went down to just what I felt I really wanted to do. I mean, you have a lot of people that are supporting you and they're telling you one thing or they're going with what you agree on. So, I mean, I was pretty close, but at the same time, I knew I was going to, I wanted to come back. What was the main factor of you coming back? Um, I think just growing as a person and as a player, really, I um, feel like I'm in a situation where I'm at a great place and a great time in my life. And I'm having a, a great opportunity to do great things here. And I mean, being able to be here for another year, I think it's only going to make it better for me. And I think in the long run, I'll be a better player next year, too. Ethan, did you talk to your family at all about the decision? Yeah, of course. I mean, that's the that was the main or the only people I pretty much took took their um, their judgment or the, anything that they had to say really for what it's worth. So I guess I mean my family they supported me a hundred percent with whatever I wanted to do, and I mean that was that was really all I could ask from them. Ifo, did you talk to other players? What did the other players tell you about what your decision was going to be or what you wanted to make your decision? I mean, they really said it comes down to what you want to do. There's going to be a lot of people in your life that want you to do something else. But they said it really goes down to what's going to make you happy at the end of the day. Are you going to look back at this and and say, oh, I should have gone to the NFL? Or are you, are you going to say, I need to accomplish some more things and I need to stay here for the next year and be a, be a strong person? I mean, I, I don't think I'm going to look back and say I should have done this. I mean, I made the decision to stay and I'm... Moving on from with that, I mean, I think at the same time in in this next year, I mean, I feel I can become a better player, and I mean that's all I get asked for. I mean, the NFL is is here, and I know it's not here for everyone, but I feel that I have a, another year to stay here, and I'll be fine. What are your goals for yourself for the next year? What do you want to do? I know you want to want to win another bowl game. I mean, of, of course that. I mean, you want to win every game that you play in, but just play your hardest out. And I mean, and just make sure that you improve. There's a lot of players that they think they get to a point and they feel that they're satisfied with where they at, they're at. But I feel I want to improve on everything I've done this last two, three years and just be at my peak when next year comes. What do you feel like you have to work on to get to that point to go to the NFL? Um, I think I just need to work on everything. I don't, I'm not really, I never really thought of anything I need to improve on before I can get there. I just felt that. I want to improve for myself before I want to get there. Is the NFL a dream that you might want to do next year? And after you've done what you've done in the next year, you're going to say, hey, I need to go back and look at that again? Um, I mean, of course, I'm going to be a senior, so I think that's pretty much the only option for me. But I think, I mean, being, like I said, it's just something that I've wanted to do. I wanted to do my whole life, but at this time I feel that I'm in a good situation where I'm at right now. Hey, how big of a role did academics play in your decision? I think it plays a huge role. I mean, in the NFL, you're gonna, you might play there for maybe seven years, but you gotta think, what are you gonna do when now you're 28 and you're out of the NFL? You have to do something else for your, the rest of your life. I mean, you don't wanna just think that this is one, this part of your life is gonna be your entire life. You're gonna have to move on from there. Can you share some of the insights that your mom and dad gave you and you looked at and you all talked about it, what they said to you about making your decision? I mean, my mom said, my mom really said that it's going to come down to what I think. I mean, you're going to hear a lot of influences and there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be telling you to, to do things and it's going to be the best for you, but you really don't know until that day actually comes what, what's the best for you. I mean, of course, people think that maybe I should have went out this year. But at the same time, a lot of people were telling me maybe I should stay. But I felt that personally that I felt I should stay, and that's why I did. Coming from the heart, you made that decision. Yeah. So maybe this has been covered. Sorry if I missed it. But um, what's, the, what's the NFL evaluation? What did they kind of project you to go? And you said that you didn't. You feel like you could improve on everything. Did they highlight some areas where you felt like? Um, I mean, what I got back from them, I pretty much expected everything they said. They definitely had an interest in me, and I felt that it was it was a good interest, but at the same time, I felt that I was still wanted to do more. Did they give you like a letter grade or like a round? 
pretty much just a round grade. Your first or second? Yeah, it was a second round grade. Kifo, with Terrence going, obviously, you have the two senior safeties. Who are some young guys you think you'll be leaning on next year, leading the way for? I mean, we still have some older guys coming back. Eric Dargan, he's going to be a focal point on the defense. I mean, he was pretty much a starter the year before, and he's only shown just progression since he's been here. So he's going to be someone that's going to be a key player on the team. And, I mean, Reggie Daniels, we have a lot of freshmen, Tyree Robinson, Chris Cissé. They're both, I think they're both going to be able to play and really contribute next year. So I feel that, I mean, we're not going to really skip a beat. What do you think life's going to be like without Nick and that sort of transition? Um, I think it'll be a little different, but at the same time, it, it might be for the best. You never know. I mean, Coach Aliotti was a great coach, but we have a lot of coaches here that are just as good, and I think that they've learned a lot from him. Is that uncertainty at all, defense coordinator? Does that play a role at all in your decision about coming back or not? Um, I don't think so. I mean, definitely having Coach Neal here, I think, is pretty much the main reason for me. Um, I mean, if it was something like he would be leaving, then it might be different. But having him here is pretty much my main goal or main reason. What did he say to you when you told him that you were staying? I mean, he was, of course, he was happy. I mean, he was, he was happy that I made the decision and he feels that I made a good decision in the long run. I mean, he told me that I'm, that I'm ready to do whatever I think I should do. And I mean, that's all I could ask for him. Can you describe where you were, what you were doing? Did you just wake up one morning and say, okay, I'm going to stay? Were you with your parents after dinner? Did you take a walk? What Describe the, the conditions you kind of knew that you were going to stay. Um, I felt that I was leaning towards staying for the most part throughout this entire process, but I still was just thinking about where I would be in the next year. And I mean, I always thought about that, oh, playing in the NFL, it's going to be a great time in my life. But at the same time, I felt that I can still wait one more year before I get there. A lot of the coaches say they try to stay neutral during this. Like Campbell said when he Anthony, he just gave him the facts and let him figure it out. But are there any teammates who try to recruit you back who say, come on, come on? Um, not really, honestly. They, they really want the best for you. I mean, you have a lot of position group players that, they, I mean, they mess around and talk and stuff like that. But they really want the best for you and they... They say from the bottom of their heart that they're going to be supporting whatever I do and just keep in touch and stuff like that. What about, obviously you're on defense, but when Mark has decided to come back and her own has, I mean, you guys on paper look pretty formidable next year. Does that kind of get some excitement brewing going into the offseason conditioning program? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, I think our team is at a, since I've been here, I think we every year we've been improving, especially, I mean, physically, athletically, I mean, I think our team is only has only has gotten better since I've got here. So I feel there's going to be a lot of competition this year, and I think it's going to bring out the best in our entire team. Do you think you'd be here tonight, or you would have made this decision this year if you were playing tonight? If I was playing tonight, um, I don't know. It might be different, but at the same time, I can't, can't say. I'm not sure. Overall, how do you feel about the season? Obviously, 11 and 2. I mean, it was a good, it was a good season, but I'm, I'm not sat. We're not satisfied with going 11 and two. I mean, you want to win every game that you play in, and you have to learn from the mistakes when you lose. So, I think those two losses this year will only help us for next year, and we're gonna have to just move on from there. Yourself as a teacher, kind of coming into spring practice. I know there's some veteran guys you talked about coming back, but do you see yourself almost like a mini coach Neil, um, grooming the younger secondary I, players? I think so. I think I can I can help out a lot. I mean, I've played three years here, so I'm going to be able to give them a lot of experience wise help and stuff like that. So I mean, I want the best for all the younger guys that are playing here. So I'm going to teach them everything I know before I leave. Jared said he likes being the underdog and maybe in this situation is that again how do you see his future playing out in the league? I think he just needs to keep just staying motivated and keep working I mean that's all you can really say it doesn't matter where you get drafted it matters what you do from there so that's how I've always thought of it I mean Terrence is going to be a good player I feel and he's just going to have to keep working hard every day even whether if he's starting or if he's fighting for a roster spot